pocket Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? We've got a long way to go And a short time to get there So we're in beautiful Kamloops, B.C., coming down the, the road here. Peter, Peter Millibar, the mayor of Kamloops, gorgeous town. Peter, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Well, we're known as Canada's tournament capital. We're very proud of that. Uh, behind us is our tournament capital center. It opened around five, six years ago. And uh, we see over a million people a year go through that, which for a city of 90,000 is uh, quite impressive. And uh, about 5% of our population on a daily basis will visit the center from seniors right through to uh, young kids uh, uh, fully use it. 5% a day, that's that's remarkable. So, like every city, I'm sure you have some challenges. What are the challenges you're having in uh, Kamloops these days? Well, our biggest challenge is, uh, I think like a lot of cities, uh, we're faced with, uh, you know, our water pipes, our sewer pipes are getting uh, older and, and we're starting to struggle with ways to not only rebuild those, but how do you rebuild the road that sits on top of those at the same time. Uh, you know, growing cities are great, uh, but that uh, older serviced areas of our towns are going to need that infrastructure support moving forward and, and how do we best uh, cover those off is always going to be a challenge. Couldn't help but notice driving in here, this is a nice new section of town. You have no power lines, you have nice new infrastructure, but I guess this too is going to be old one day, so we need to be planning for the future. Well, absolutely. You can only do so much. We're fortunate. We have a, a brand new state-of-the-art uh, membrane water filtration plant. Uh, it was around $50 million that we uh, built uh, about uh, 10 years ago, and we're under the commissioning stage right now of a brand new wastewater treatment plant as well. So in terms of the big production plants, uh, we're, we're doing very well. In terms of the pipes uh, that move the product uh, from one of those plants to the other, uh, it's uh, going to be a struggle moving forward, and I think every city will share those same problems. So we like to ask you about a particular success in your community. We're obviously, we're standing in one, and you just mentioned two more, so taking those three off your list, <laughs> what else have you got that we're uh, really proud of of what's going on in Kamloops these days? Uh, you know, probably our diversity uh, with our, our economy. We have a very strong forestry sector still, uh, very strong with mining. Uh, our health services are very, very strong right now. We're seeing about a $400 million expansion to our hospital taking place right now. And our university is just uh, booming right now. We're uh, one of Canada's newest law schools here. Uh, we have full trade school attached to it as well, which uh, in the coming years with the trade shortages will be critical. So, um, you know, we're really proud of all of those type of institutions, but certainly uh, what we've seen happen with our university campus up here has just been great. Wow. And it looks like the uh, residents are really engaged in the community here. They are. It's uh, it's one of those communities, I think, because we're such a, a, a hub and we're a little bit isolated from the next population uh, base. Everyone uh, lives here that works here as well, uh, including the city staff. So very uh, huge community spirit and volunteerism and and that's really what drives us being able to call ourselves Canada's tournament capital it's one thing to build the facilities it's another thing to have enough volunteers to run the events so uh, we're looking forward to hoping hosting the Canadian uh, women Olympic team here in November for the Four Nations Cup and and events like that uh, that we attract on a regular basis cool so Canada's tournament capital I'll keep saying it uh, we're standing actually this facility sign behind us here is the BC Lions training camp so uh, again great things going on in Kamloops Peter Miller bar again. Thank you, Peter, and uh, we'll have a look around town and see what else you got going on. Sounds good. Thanks.